As Texans player just shut down every whiny protester on his field with what he brought to game. As tens of thousands of Texans and Floridians battled the aftermath of the hurricane that ripped through their communities, were beginning to glimpse into the heart and soul of what makes America, America. While loudmouth is like oppressed millionaire football stars like Colin Kaepernick could easily use his social media presence to rally his base and organize relief efforts, he's obviously too self-absorbed with plotting his next boat of anti-American antics to give flying crap about suffering Americans. Now a lesser-known NFL player is putting every kneeling player to shame after the incredible thing he brought onto the football field Sunday night that's making these ungrateful players look like even bigger jackasses than they already were, while proving that the spirit of America is alive and well. As oppressed millionaire NFL players continue to make a mockery of our country while insulting every single soldier who fought, bled, and died for this country by protesting our national anthem. Other NFL players like Justin James J. J. Watt have been working tirelessly to organize hurricane relief efforts for the past several weeks. Watt, who was defensive end for the Houston Texans, raised a whopping $30 million just in the last week and a half alone, putting every kneeling douchebag in the NFL to massive shame. Rather than taking a knee or using his time in the spotlight to act like a gigantic jackass, Watt ran onto the football field for his first game since Hurricane Harvey with a gigantic flag, symbolizing the incredible spirit of Americans uniting after the catastrophe, a patriotic gesture that anti-American morons like Cole and Kaepernick can't even comprehend. The stadium went absolutely nuts giving the man who has raised $30 million to rebuild their destroyed communities an incredible rock star welcome, rightfully stealing the spotlight from the anti-American clowns whose disgusting antics continue to make headlines at every single NFL game as of late. If morons like Colin Kaepernick truly cared about America and wanted to be a positive force for change like they claim, they'd be first in line to help pass out boxes of food and supplies to these suffering victims. We as Americans need to stop allowing these kneeling idiots to hijack our favorite sport and give players like Watt the attention and praise he deserves, as he truly cares for Americans and is choosing to use his platform in such an incredible way. JJ reported over Twitter that the physical donations pouring in so fast, that the money that was raised hasn't even been tapped onto yet. Pictures of supplies overflowing from storage spaces and trucks could be seen, where these supplies were donated in a massive distribution event over the weekend to the suffering Houston community. What's even more amazing is that after raising all this money and coordinating the relief efforts, JJ has been hands-on and involved every step of the way, even physically going to the distribution centers and handing out supplies. Keep in mind Watt is a professional athlete who is taking time away from his vigorous training to help his fellow Texans. In a recent interview with James Palmer, JJ was asked about how many hours a day he's spending on relief efforts, and his answer was remarkable. I asked Watt how many hours he's spent on his fundraiser and planning this event since he arrived in Houston with the rest of his teammates on Wednesday. All of them, he said, smiling. Outside of a two- to three-hour workout each day, Watt has spent every second working with either Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner, people from the Justin J. Watt Foundation, or volunteers to make this massive project a success in just a few short days. There is no question there were also a few prayers Saturday night that things would go off without a hitch. Many professionals, let alone professional football players, struggle to lead groups during a time of crisis. Watt has done it brilliantly. I asked someone close to Watt, who has been with him during every step of the planning and preparation, how much of this he's actually been hands-on for. She responded, all of it. As for the tens of millions of dollars he's raised, JJ says, I'm going to take my time, make sure that I work with local organizations that we do it right here in the city so that money goes straight to the people here of Houston who need it the most so that we can help rebuild them. What an incredible man! Rather than using his platform to whine about America and our country's injustices, what is showing is leading by example and truly being the change that